Being married to a Mexican is not for the weak, okay? Being married to a Mexican is going to put some hairs on your chest because they're going to have you out here trying foods that you didn't even know existed. Going to have you out here trying things that you didn't even know could be a food, okay? For example, my husband and I, when we first lived in, moved into this house, mi cuñado just went through Monterrey. And when he came back, he brought my husband jars that looked like this. Now, this isn't the jar because said jar has left our house. But let me explain to you what I found in this jar okay so he brought jars like this and when I said to my husband what did he bring you curious sort of question my husband goes take a look I pop open the jar lid and what do I behold in said jar you ask I see not one but many little crickets yes you heard that right you know the ones that sit outside in the moonlight and shake their little legs and make little weird noises crickets all dead covered in salt and chili and i say to my husband why like on what planet did we get a lizard that i didn't know about that needed this cricket food and he pops one in his mouth as he's saying it to me he goes and I hear the crunch. The crunch almost sent me back, let me tell you. Because the crunch was the same crunch as when you stand on the cricket outside. And I said, no, you didn't just do that. And he said, what? They're really good for you. They've got protein in them. Look, I'm all for it, okay? I'm all for the extra protein. But at some point, we've got to draw the bloody line.